This should be a pretty quick showcase. This uh, version of Liz, the red hair Liz, got a new holy relic in which uh, at the beginning of battle, in PvE, all allies get, 20, get, get a buff of 50% attack for three turns. Now, she works in the back, by the way. So you can just use her in the back and rip the benefits, right? But we're going to be using, at the very least, for the first, for the beginning here, uh, the blue one, because she also gives 20% basic stats to any ally that has over 100% crit defense. And uh, we're just going to be doing like a, a quick challenge final boss, see if I can speedrun him. And both of my characters here, now Askren has 101 crit defense, then Roxy has actually exactly 100. So we're going to be getting that 20% uh, plus 50 plus plus. Uh, uh, attack food, so we should be getting some pretty high attack numbers. Now, no attack related stats, which is not as good, but, you know, no auto. Got the 50% attack buff, and again, works in the back. This could be great for farming Belmoth, I guess, uh, I, I don't know. Belmoth is not very hard, so... Not a big deal, but any events in the future where the green version of this Liz is good is going to be very, very good. Uh, this relic is going to be very, very good. So let's uh, let's do this. Then this and uh, this. I hope I can finish off. Oh, I didn't <laughs> expect to one shot. Okay. Uh, not not good. One shotting. Not good to I, I didn't expect to one shot. Uh, not good to one shot because you you want to kill them together actually, but that means uh, uh, yeah I, I had to <laughs> I was expecting to like almost kill Sario. I did too much damage right, and then the single target from Askinor would kill Tarmio. Then the the hit from Askinor's card would then kill Sauria. Um, okay, let me, let me redo this. Let me redo this. In this fight, if you kill one of them, the other one gets super tanky. So you need to do them kind of together. And apparently my characters hit a little too hard. So let's not make the same mistake again. Oh my god, the AoE hit so hard. Okay, yeah, th that is definitely from... <laughs> The fact that I have so much attack. Okay. I need to adjust my... Because uh, this is challenge. This is the highest difficulty. I need to adjust my uh, train of thought here. Oh, Sari removes buffs. That's not good. Okay. It's fine. But, yeah. So this Sario, His... Uh, not debuff, but the and like the special debuff card he has actually removes all buffs. And, you know, I'm not going to be getting the buffs again. But that's fine. The, the damage we could do here, which isn't much because they had like an... Bro, can you stop getting cards loose? They have like pretty enhanced damage reduction in this first turn. But, whatever. Yeah, he's going to remove the buffs. Uh, this is the one bad thing about this Liz. <laughs> Look at all these cards, man. They're, they're garbage. Like, they're gonna pile up because you're not gonna use them, right? And they are absolute garbage. Let's, uh... Do this. Okay, so it could have been faster. Could have been faster. I, I think... <laughs> I could true turn this. I... Think I can true turn this. I'm going to finish this real quick, and I'm, I, I'm going to see if I can. Yes, okay, I got the AoE, so let me do this. Let's see if I can just one-turn this phase with the AoE cards. I might. If I don't kill Sario here... Oh, okay, no, that's perfect, that's perfect. Then I'm going to have the single targets for next turn. Ooh. What if I do... I 
I think I think I'll do it like this, right? Because I don't think I'm gonna. I don't know if I'm gonna actually kill any of them. To be honest. Okay. Yeah, it's not enough damage to actually one. Or, or yeah, to one phase this, this one because they, because of this damage reduction they have. Yeah. Maybe with two Eskener cards, I'm, I don't know. But three turns is still very good. Three turns is still very good. I think there is an Aaron strategy. I, have, I haven't seen any, uh, anyone do it, but that is very fast as well. But, you know, a lot of people didn't pull for Aaron because <laughs> he sucks, so. So this red version of the list, so I'm going to be kind of like going over all three versions of the list because they're they're... Pretty much one made for certain things, and this version is made to be used against these stages right here, the time trial stages, which are the uh, anvil, oh, misclicked, anvil, and the coin one, and with this relic, you know, you're already going to be beating very fast with, with Liz, right, because you're doing enhanced damage based on their HP, or I think that's what she does, I, haven't, <laughs> I didn't check before, but that's what I remember. And that alone is going to make you hit super hard, but now with the 50% extra attack, let, let's see here. So I'm going to I'm gonna save the, the tier for next turn. Let's do this. This will stack. Let's save the tier attack for next turn. Oh my god. Obviously, if you already had red hair, Liz... You were already demolishing the stage, regardless. But it's pretty, it's pretty intense. Let, let, how much deck do I have with King? Forty thousand tiers of forty thousand as well. And of course, uh, as soon as King attacks, you get the shield, which gives more basic stats as well on top of it. Yeah, pretty much one AOE attack first, uh, first room, two AOE attack second room. And I assume for the coin will be the same. It's just pretty crazy. And again, like green Liz, the the green version. I wish I c I could show in like a new, so like boss raid stage because from now on, any new boss raid stage is gonna be very good. On let me just uh, do these uh, off camera real quick so I don't waste them, and I'll be back with the Liz showcase. Let's see. If, let's say if the auto doesn't do the uh, Elaine buff. Even if the auto doesn't do the Elaine buff, you still want shot with King, okay. Alright, last thing is, of course, Green Liz. And I didn't pick an AI that had, like, the bot, but we got the 50% attack. Sorry, an AI that had that. Uh, what's it called? Gaffer to rank up, because I didn't think it was needed. I think with the attack buffs from both Tonar and... Liz, we're gonna be, you know, demolishing. Not that <laughs> demolishing this boss is any hard, to be fair, right? It's been years and years, and we've already had, you know, pretty optimal teams to beat this boss. So it's not like it's gonna make a huge difference when it comes to this area, but like I've been mentioning, I think that when it comes down to future bosses, like those regular, not new raids, not like another level cap or something. I'm talking about these regular bosses that we get here and there. They end up being raids that we very regularly use this green Liz. I think this is going to be huge. Because uh, it's going to make it faster and easier. 50% attack. Maybe they're going to take into consideration moving forward that this Liz does have this relic now. And... I think I forgot to mention that it's Deer Mats, by the way. I think older characters are starting to get uh, relics from older Demonic Beasts, which is great. Um, but yeah. I think that's about it. Got the <laughs> There's not much else to say, you know. Got the attack buff. My units are stronger. And, uh, you know, there's not much else to it. She just makes the other characters stronger, and all three versions can use it in their own way. 
Very well thought out relic, I'm not gonna lie. It's not true OP, but it's good enough that it will make a certain impact in a lot of people's uh, accounts, so.